Hey awesome ones, Heather here. And for part three of my capsule wardrobe, I thought I would do 25 of my favorite accessories. And they include hats and purses and jewelry and scarves and even funny socks. So I can't wait to share it with you. It all starts in just a few seconds. Now, if you missed my last two capsule wardrobes, uh, one was on casual wear, uh, the other one was how to look expensive in clothing. And all you have to do is go to awesome, no, sorry, youtube.com slash awesome over 50 and just click on videos and you'll find them there. Now, these accessories that I'm going to talk about, I really find that accessories, they really, really jazz up a wardrobe and also they kind of lift your spirits sometime in your mood. And I'm not talking about the pearls that grandma gave you and I'm not also going to talk about shoes and boots and sandals and all of that sort of thing. Hey, I'd have 25 of those just in one video, but I'm going to talk about the accessories that I mentioned and I'm sure you're going to find a few surprises in the mix. So let's start with my number one, and this is one of my favorite accessories, the stretchy belt. And uh, you get these in all different kinds of shapes. And as you can see, it kind of adds a something something to this outfit that I'm wearing. And you can also get kind of the skinnier version. And those are great for, and they're in all different kinds of colors. And those are great, of course, for a pair of jeans or white trousers and, uh, yeah, if you haven't tried them, I guarantee you're in for a world of comfort. So I know those stretchy belts, they're kind of hard to find. So what I'm going to do under the description of this video, I'm going to put some links for you, not only for the belts, but also for a lot of the different items that I'm going to be mentioning for you. So let's talk about belts for number two. I do have another favorite belt. And that is the chain belt. I really find that these are nice. And uh, there's a gold and a silver. There's all different styles that you can find. But as you can see again on this sort of black dress, it adds a little something something. And a lot of times uh, you can adjust, you know, how you want to have it, whether you want, you don't want it too tight. Again, you need that breathing room. So for my favorite third accessory, it's the small purse. I don't know if you can see this. I guess I'll put it up against the wall a little bit here. But I can get so much into this small purse. It just goes crossbody. I hardly even know that I have it. It can hold my credit card, some money, some lipstick, a little comb, a pen, like all kinds of things. Even my, my phone fits in this. So this is a great one. But you know that I love to wear a small purse for every day and this is an example of a small purse I get my phone right in here I get so much into this and this is what I'm basically wearing every day I just sort of put this again it's a crossbody so I hardly even know that I'm wearing it and what I'll be doing is um, you know well let me just tell you I did a video on all the different things I can get in this purse. It will surprise you. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put that video on the end screen of this one so you can take a look. So you're kind of thinking to yourself, okay, Heather, but what about those days where I gotta bring an umbrella or a sweater or something like that? Well, da 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 <laughs> The next accessory is the bigger purse. And as most of us, you know, we wanna maybe get the basic black purse. But what I would suggest is maybe get something with, you know, this is a neutral color now. It's a beautiful kind of rose gold. And let me just show you the magic of all of this. And as long as I can get myself organized here, um, there's the small purse. And so we get the small purse. But all I do with a small purse is I put it in the bigger purse. So I don't have to worry about dumping everything out and, you know, doing all that kind of nonsense. The small purse is there, voila, it's ready. And then when I need it again, just as a small purse, I just pull it out. Now, there's a little bag for shopping. That's going to fit in there. Um, what about this little umbrella? Sure, that'll fit in there. And even... A sweater. I can even get a sweater in here and probably a brush as well and it all can get closed up so that's my idea those are my purse ideas 
Now talking about things to go into a handbag, you might also want to have some very, very nice gloves. And actually, I think I've got to buy some new gloves because these are getting a little worn looking. But if you remember the camel coat, you know, this just looks so très élégant with uh, the camel coat. Or you could also get yourself a pair of maybe brown, uh, beautiful gloves. So that's my other accessory that I really, really love. Now you're probably looking over here and going, when is she going to get into the jewelry? Because I've got some awesome pieces for jewelry that I can't wait to show you. But I want to talk about sunglasses next. Now for number seven, uh, it has to be these teeny tiny sunglasses. And you're going, oh my gosh, they are so ugly. Those are awful. But you know what? They only protect like the inside of my eyes. So I'm not getting, you know those great big white spots that you get when you wear those big sunglasses. So these are great. They're, they're great for keeping the sun off my eyes, which you should be doing. And also, you know, maybe I'm just laying in the backyard or reading a magazine in the backyard. So they're great for that. Uh, but what would be number eight? Well, of course, number eight is to get yourself a pair of good kind of fashionable uh, sunglasses and I love these ones. These are also Polaroid, um, polarized I think they're called and if you haven't tried polarized sunglasses give them a go because it really makes a difference uh, between these and just the regular ones. And I also have a ninth accessory in sunglasses but Hey, you know what? Besides the SPF that we have to put on ourselves, we got to protect those eyes. And these are fun sunglasses. And I really think, you know, you got to have a little bit of fun with fashion. So I like to kind of look retro with some of my retro kind of uh, outfits. And also, I just got these ones not too long ago. And uh, well, they're animal print sunglasses and uh, <laughs> You know, it just adds a little bit of, uh, I don't know, va 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 voom or something, and they're a lot of fun. And talking about fun, I find fun socks are a real mood enhancer. And let me show you, there's hundreds and hundreds of different socks that you can get, but uh, this little pair here kind of reminds me of Little Hurricane and uh, also I've got popcorn socks and I, I wear the popcorn socks when maybe Bill and I are at home and we want to watch a movie together with some popcorn of course and also places that I've been like Paris and London it just I don't know they kind of put you in the mood of nostalgia or if I'm wearing something goofy like this you know it, it, it kind of makes you feel silly and you can't get down when you're feeling a little bit silly and goofy. So about now would be a good time for me to talk about my favorite accessory of pantyhose. And somebody actually just wrote me and said, Heather, should I, can I still wear like a neutral beige pantyhose? My answer was kind of no. Um, really, it, they're not in style right now, especially if you wear them with a pair of sandals. Um, best idea would maybe to do a spray on tan or bare legs, you know, well, bare legs do have the spray on tan, but you gotta get what I'm talking about. Now, if I'm wearing a black dress, like this little baby that I'm wearing right now, um, I might be inclined to, oops, wear um, a pantyhose with a little bit of a pattern, some Something like that or also I might even be inclined to wear something like this which uh, has a little fishnet in it and hey I just got to say that yes a woman of a certain age can wear a fishnet stocking because who says we can't still <laughs> who says we can't still feel sexy so next I think it's number 11. Let's talk hats and then we're going to talk about scarves and I promise after that we're going to get into some jewelry but uh, for hats in the summertime I love this straw hat <laughs> and I feel so good in it. It's also keeping some sun off my face. Of course I've got the SBF on as well but uh, I don't know. I feel like you know summertime in this hat so absolutely love that. And of course, if you're experiencing winter like I do, I love this hat. Um, it makes me feel a little bit like uh, the woman in 
Dr. Zhivago. Do you remember that movie, Dr. Zhivago? So, I don't know, I just feel so beautiful in it. And also, I'm just going to show you something. Um, I love to wear this kind of look. It's faux fur. And also, you can get a faux fur scarf as well. And there's that camel coat. And so you can see it's quite a lovely look with uh, everything going on with this hat here. So I talked about the faux fur scarf and scarves. They're so important to kind of rev up your wardrobe. And if you haven't got a bunch of them, you know, it's usually a very inexpensive way to kind of jazz up an outfit, you know, unless you're sort of looking at the designer kind. But for my 13th uh, accessory that I love, it's the uh, animal print scarf. And hey, even royalty is wearing animal print these days. So uh, if you want to kind of ease into that kind of look, you can't go wrong with a scarf. And I'm just, this is why I wear the black dress today is to show you how some of these just really, really um, can change an outfit completely with a scarf. And for a number 14 for a scarf, I would suggest to get, uh, I mean, you could get silk. These are just uh, from Amazon, but something that really kind of highlights your look, and especially if you're wearing black, and I'll kind of show you what I mean with this one here. And it just, it just does something. It, it lights up my face and, uh, I don't know, kind of livens up the whole look. So another thing with a scarf like this, it kind of hides, you know, the little black dress and perhaps you're going to wear the scarf for work and then for the evening you're just going to take it off and you're going to have your little black dress on for a nice dinner out or, or whatever. Now I promised you I was going to get into jewelry and let's, you're not going to believe this, but my number 15 is a brooch. It sounds so old-fashioned, but take a look at this little frog brooch. I absolutely love this little frog, and for me, I just, I love brooches that are kind of whimsical and fun, so that would be my suggestion for a brooch. So, talking about jewelry type of items, and isn't this fantastic and we do have a link for it for you it's a jewelry holder that looks like a dress and I don't even have it filled with all the jewelry that I like to put on it um, but it's it's just fantastic but I wanted to talk here about some watches so I have my favorite I don't know if you can see this but it's my Mickey Mouse watch absolutely love it I've had it for years and years and the thing about this watch is I've worn it to power meetings and I take a look at it and it just kind of reminds me to kind of loosen up a little bit. And my second favorite watch, I guess you can call it a watch, but it's an exercise monitor and I don't know if you can tell, but uh, you just tap it and it tells you the time. It also syncs with my, with my phone, so if I know I'm getting a text message and maybe I can't hear it in my purse, also counts my steps, and I just absolutely love it. Now, another thing about, this is a Fitbit Ulta, and I can also buy different bands for it. And right now I have the silver, I love the silver. I've got a gold chain one, I have black, I have white. So you can just inter interchange all the different kinds of, uh, of bracelets or also bands for it. So at this point, I wanna tell you about something. A wonderful jewelry company approached me and said, how would you like us to design the awesome Over 50 collection? So uh, I can't wait to show you. It's just kind of in prototypes right now, but let me know in the comments if you think that uh, I helped design it. And of course, <laughs> you know, I, I just want to know what you think, honestly. But um, what uh, we designed together, I guess, was this is the necklace and I put it against a black turtleneck so you can really see it. It's kind of got that classic look. You could wear it as a choker, you could wear it longer. And if you're over 50, these are Swarovski uh, crystals here and Swarovski uh, pearls. And they represent all the, de the decades that you've been around. So uh, there's five decades here. And also, I don't know if you can see the earrings. We've got the earrings as well to uh, kind of go with the entire look and also we have 
the I don't know if you can see the bracelet okay but there's I think the bracelet's really pretty as well and that has the five decades on it as well and uh, what I tried to do when I designed this is I just wanted it to every day that you wanted to feel awesome over 50 I wanted you to wear it with a turtleneck you could wear it with a pair of jeans you could wear it with this black dress whatever you feel like and I wanted it to have kind of a, a classic Audrey Hepburn look to it so uh, I really hope you like it I'm going to be talking about it in the near in the near future well I have to move on so number 19 would be uh, a bangle and I love these cuff bangles as you can see it looks really nice with this outfit I have it in uh, it's I think it's like a gold plate and I also have it in silver so I absolutely uh, love this kind of bangle and I'll just put that there because I might as well just keep talking about bangles and I just love to put a bunch of them together and here I don't know if you can see this too well I'll kind of step to the side a little bit um, but I have like a leather this is this is kind of for a Santa Fe boho look that I would want to create and I have some leather I have uh, some turquoise and I just kind of just rough I could put as many I could put 10 of them on my on my wrist here and they would all look fantastic so uh, do a little bit of mixing and matching with your bangles and uh, also another one I might as well put this one in now too is um, I don't know what number we're on 21 something like that but get yourself a long pendant kind of necklace and as you can see this is just a boring long top but the necklace actually really makes it and what I like about this look also is it kind of elongates your look as well because the eye is going down so well uh, yeah I would suggest that as another great accessory now for number 23 let's talk about you know something that is maybe sometimes you see these at craft shows and something that is obviously handmade I don't know if you can see that okay I'll put it over here so you can see it a little bit better and uh, this actually has leather down the side and it's got a beautiful pendant on it so that would be my number 22 also what's really popular right now are the um, the very delicate kind of tiered I don't know if you can see that too well there you go um, kind of tiered necklaces and they come in silver they come in gold and um, yeah I also ma uh, made sure that that one that I designed was a tiered one as well because I really like that look now another um, necklace that I love I guess this is already at number 24 and uh, that would be something like this which is more of a a gold chain and as you can see what it does to this dress it just really really brings the uh, the look up a notch and don't worry you don't have to buy it all in real silver or real gold or real silver um, they do a lot of great uh, electroplating on them these days so uh, just absolutely love this elegant look so last but not least let's talk about the earrings and for number 25 I'm saying have a statement kind of earring and you can see them let me just fold this over a little bit uh, you can see them right here and I mean wouldn't this look just très élégant on a uh, and these aren't really super expensive uh, but that would look lovely on a black dress like, well, not on a black dress but with a black dress <laughs> also with a little red dress that I'm always talking about um, the red ones would look really nice with that and also the tassel earrings are really uh, popular these days these little blue tassel earrings that I have and I wear them with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans and it just kind of again it livens up the outfit a bit so it's time to bring in the cuteness factor our little hurricane and uh, let's talk about some future videos and again I have two more of these capsule wardrobes uh, coming for you and a lot of you are saying that you enjoy them so thanks very much for that I've never really done anything with a clothing rack and uh, hey I'm just trying to do as much as I can for you the awesome ones so just remember it's it's not really about the bling of an accessory or how much it costs uh, 
whether it's a Mickey Mouse watch or a frog on your lapel or maybe some funny socks or an animal print scarf or maybe it's a pair of fishnet stockings. You know, it's just adding that something something to help to keep it awesome.